Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007 and today we're looking at the gadgets menu plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin that you can use in a server hub for example where players can get various cosmetics and unlock more of them either by using mystery dust or by using mystery crates to randomize it which is pretty cool. And there's a variety of different things such as emotes, banners, hats, suits, pets, all that good stuff that you would expect. So we're going to just jump into it, show you how to use it, how to set up the mystery crates and all that good stuff. So when you join you'll get this lovely nether star and if we right click this you can see a cool GUI with various different categories, particles, hats, suits, etc. Now if I were to go into hats you can see there is a long list of different ones we could choose from. If we go back to main menu there's even animated hats so if we chose the color block one and go into third person mode you can see that looks very nice it just changes color and then there's a variety of different gadgets so if we were to choose the creeper astronaut gadget and pop him down off he goes into space and there is a little bar at the bottom until you can use that again and then if we go into pets what we could do is select one of these guys and the cool thing about this is you can choose a different color or if there's multiple types of mobs such as a creeper a power type you can spawn that in and then if you do forward slash g menu name pet and then i don't know test you can rename him or her to your liking. And then if we go back into this, we have emotes as well. We have cloaks, which look pretty awesome. I think that's very nice. Then we have some banners as well that you can stick on. And if you were to get bored of that, you can hit the reset cosmetics button down at the bottom. And there's also suits up here. So there is a plumber suit, for example. And if we go into first person mode you can see who that plumber looks like and that's just sort of the stuff you can do with this now what you could do is g menu equip followed by you know a banner and then holiday tree and then your username and that would be another way to equip a person or yourself with an item now obviously that's a bit more awkward than clicking in here but you could do it that way as well you might have seen there's two additional buttons at the bottom there is the settings now in here you can reduce the cooldown to zero so as you saw in the bottom there's about a 30 second cooldown before i could use one of the gadgets you could get rid of that if you're an admin and then do you want to get rid of the self morph you yes or no now the other thing that we haven't looked at down here is the mystery dust and mystery boxes. Now what you can do with mystery dust is, as I mentioned, either buy any of these or buy a mystery box which will allow you to get a random item. Now you can have those gifted by friends, you can have admins give them to you and there's a couple of commands that we'll look at. So what I've got over here is a mystery vault. Now this is where you have to go to open them, you can't just open them anywhere. So if I were to right click this you can see I've got a ton of different mystery boxes on different quality levels. So there's a five star with loads of legendary good stuff and then there is a one star which doesn't have very good stuff at all and you can see they expire in a week's time. So let's go ahead and open the five star one. So if I click that it will tell us the possible options that we'll get from it and then if we hit open there'll be a really cool particle effect. We can see our chest here and what are we going to get from this one? There's a cool explosion. We got rare sheep white baby and now there's 11 available. So if we look down here gift inventory so we have zero gift sent and zero received however we could gift them to another player obviously no one else is online um, we can craft mystery boxes so if you don't get given them by anyone you can use your mystery dust to craft them and you can see this one costs 60 for a one star and then the price goes up depending on how many stars the box has so let's go ahead and we got an additional one another one star that we could open and we can watch and see what we get out of this one and there we go we got a rare rabbit brown so that is a quick look at how you could use the plugin how the average player would use it let's go ahead and look at the commands on how to use the mystery dust the vaults and the crates so if we do forward slash mystery dust we can for example set a player's mystery dust to 120 so they could get two of those crates or if you're feeling nice you can add an amount to a player's account and that is one way that players could accumulate it. Now another command is the G mystery box or boxes command. What you can do here is gift a player some or you can simply just give it to someone if you're an admin. Now once you've chosen a player you need to select the amount so we're going to give myself five of them 
And then the next number after this needs to be the quality. So do you want them to be one star? Do you want them to be four star? Or if you leave this blank, it will be random. So I'm gonna hit three star for this one. And if we have a look back in my vault over here, we can see loads of three star. So if I were to repeat the same command with no number at the end, we're going to get a variety. So a two star, a three star, and lots of two and a five at the end. Now the last thing we need to do regarding this is actually create a brand new mystery vault. And then what we can do is G mystery boxes mode. Now this is an additional command where what we can do is see where the nearest one is. So if we do mode near and then 200 blocks, it will say the nearest mystery vault is test, which I created earlier. And it's with these coordinates facing east. And what we can do is create a brand new one. So we're going to add vault and this one's gonna be called vault 2. Make sure you're looking at a block while you're doing it and there we go we have created a brand new vault and then what a player could do is right click the vault and then open them as we did over there and obviously you can make this as cool looking as you want. So here we are on the Spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19 and there is a free version and a premium version. The free one works fantastically but the premium one has additional features. Now there's one thing to bear in mind with the free version so if we look at this page on the wiki which has a ton of information that I'd recommend you having a look over when you set up a mystery vault you need to do a little bit of setup to make sure that when a player unlocks the item it gives them the correct permission for it. So if we click this link here we can see if we scroll down that we need to edit two different files. So the files that we need to edit are the config.yml and the mysteryboxes.yml. Effectively depending on the permissions that you're using you need to add this into that file. So for example, if we're using luck perms, what we would do is copy and paste this, and then we go into our SM Picnic control panel where our plugin folder is, and then go into the gadgets menu, and then the config.yml is the first one we're going to go into. And then we need to scroll down just a little bit down to here. So execute command, you will need to change this depending on your permission plugin. So currently it's for permissions X, which if you don't have that, get rid of it. And then put in the specific one for the plugin that you're using whether it's powerful perms, luck perms, etc, whichever one and then you'd want to save that and then do the same for mysteryboxes.yml in order for players to actually be able to use the items they unlock and if you don't do that you'd have some rather upset players and down here is the command and then you can see all the rarities as well. Hit save and that will be that sorted. So now that we've got that out of the way, we can have a look at some of the additional stuff. So if we go back into the config, we can see what we can do in here. So if you have a MySQL database, you can set up the data to be saved in there. Do you want people to be allowed to buy cosmetic items? Yes or no. And here are all the different cosmetics. You can disable one or multiple if you want. And then if we go down here, you can see the default pet name, the starting mystery dust. So do you want people to start with zero or a hundred just so they can buy a couple things. And there's various different slots down here where you can change things. This is the menu item. So you don't really have to change any of this. It works pretty well to start with, but you can obviously customize anything that you want. So that is a quick look at the plugin. As you can see, it works fantastically. It's built really well, and I'd highly recommend it for your server. As we go back to the Spigot page, you can see there is wiki, commands with permissions. Definitely have a good read over that. As I mentioned, it's very important to make sure you set it up properly. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>